ice and, and inky, you can barely see it under there, uh, that was taken today. And uh, as you can see, it's pixelated because this particular instrument on Stereo A doesn't take high resolution pictures or anything, never has. Uh, there's Earth and uh, there's Mercury there. And the reason for this video, guys, is there has been a lot of chatter on the uh, astronomy groups all over the world of Comet Ison's nucleus being compromised and breaking up. And what I'm going to do here is uh, show you some information about IRAM, the 30 millimeter telescope facility that's located uh, in the, the Sierra Nevada in Spain. And what they do over there is a radio telescope uh, and it uh, makes observations in the uh, millimeter range, wavelengths. And uh, it's located in Sierra Nevada in Spain, close to the Pico Valletta Peak. Uh, it's the largest millimeter wave telescope in the world after the large millimeter telescope located in a different part of the world. Now, each year, more than 200 scientists from all over the world visit this facility to explore the universe at millimeter wavelength. Now, the reason why I showed you that, guys, is because of this uh, information that was on one of the uh, astronomy groups that I'm uh, signed up with um, that come out yesterday, and there's some more information coming out today about Comet Ison. Now, it says Comet Ison has been closely monitored at the IRAM Millimeter Telescope in Spain by Israel Hermelio, uh, I believe that's how you pronounce his name, and myself. For these last six days, they've been watching this thing. We observe constant rapid fading of the molecular emission lines between November 26th, the 21st, and November 25th by at least a factor of 20. And actually, they're going to say likely more. This may indicate that the nucleus is now at best marginally active or that it no longer exists. In other words, they think that the nucleus of Comet Ison has completely disintegrated according to their radio observers observations of Comet Ison. Now remember guys, this is not a telescope that's looking at Ison. This is a radio observatory, a radio telescope, and it doesn't matter if it's close to the sun, it doesn't matter if it's cloudy outside, they are still able to look at this uh, comet in the radio millimeter wavelength and get more details of what's now once they do that they're able to get a little bit more detail of what's going on uh, with the comet nucleus uh, inside of the uh, comet cloud there so what they're basically saying guys is that this comet is slowly broken apart and that's why the tail of comet Ison is so defined even in this stereo a low um, quality image here is because the tail dust has increased and that the comet is breaking apart and falling apart completely. If this is correct, if what they're saying is correct, then Comet Ison will definitely dis disintegrate according to this new data from that facility I just showed you. Anyway guys, I told you I would keep you guys updated on what's going on with Comet Ison if there was actual new evidence or new data coming out and that's what I've just done. Now, if I hear anything else uh, from any of my uh, astronomer friends anywhere across the world there, I will definitely make another video and keep you guys updated. Anyway, guys, if any more information comes out, I'll keep you updated. God bless.